one of my memories, early memories as a Christian was uh, being in a Bible study that I probably was being led by a university staff member. And he was asking these great questions and, and helping us to get into the scripture, into the passage, into the text. And I remember thinking, I want to be able to do that. I, I want to be able to do that for myself as well as to be able to, to, to help other people do that. continuing to, to hammer away. I, I love uh, Martin Luther's description. I beat importunately on the book of Romans to see what St. Paul wanted. And that beating importunately, I think is such a great image of, of how we need to approach the scripture. The goal is, is there's, there's a lot of goals that fall short. There are a lot of goals that we think about, I want to know the Bible better, I want to, I want to, I want to learn how to, to adjust my life better. And th those are really good things. David, let me just, since we're talking about scripture, I would say the goal is what David talked about in Psalm 27, verse 4. David says, One thing I have asked from the Lord, and that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to meditate in his temple. You read that, and, and sometimes you can read it without choking up. You read that, well, that's verse four. If you read the first three verses, um, the evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell, a host encamped against me, the war arrives against me. David's in a terrible situation. His life is really bad right here. And, and so all these terrible situations that David is in, one thing I've asked of the Lord, that he would get me out of this mess. One thing I've asked of the Lord, that he would deliver me from these enemies. Somebody says, he says, I'm in the midst of a really horrible situation. I just want to gaze on the beauty of the Lord. That's the goal. Um, I, I think this continues. I think this is what we'll be doing for eternity. When David says, gazing on the beauty of the Lord, Jonathan Edwards, the Puritan, said, if God is infinite and we are finite, we will never get to the end of him. We will never see all there is. I love the phrase in C.S. Lewis, the Narnia Chronicles, further up and further in. We will spend eternity going further up. <sighs> further up and further in. Sorry, of seeing that beauty, of seeing the delightfulness of God, that, that's what joy is. That's a, a big part of why we should study scripture, not to be good Christians or not to be more knowledgeable or not to win arguments or not to have better outlines. Not necessarily bad things, but, but they, they fall so short. I mean, it's, it's like, there's a lot better. There's a lot better reason to study scripture.